My name's Mario Lorenzo Falcone. I guess that's pretty Italian. I can say a little bit. I can say I can teach you how to say um, my name is Helen. Okay, go on, do that then. Uh, you would be Io. Io. Mi chiami. Mi chiami. Helen. Helen. Yeah. <laughs> Got the Helen bit right. That's what yeah, I Yeah, well then. played, well yeah, played. Thank so you're you. Italian now. Yeah, Congrats. oh, thanks. I wish. That tan. So we'll start <laughs> with last night's episode of Towie then. Yes. So you look pretty happy to see Lucy modelling in her underwear on that catwalk. Well, bad memories, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you said to do that up and down the bedroom. <laughs> 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 So what what do you think about Lucy then? Because she's she said that she doesn't want to make things official with Tom Pierce. Do you reckon that's because she still likes you? I don't know. I think um, Lucy's a lovely girl. You know, I, I know Lucy better than anyone, and I think um, you know it is hard. With obviously me and her, I think we were engaged. We lived together. You know, we had two little dogs together, we had a little family, and I think you know to make it official with someone, not just to see someone. I mean, I've 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 been on lots of dates since Lucy, and I still I think the thought of making somebody else my girlfriend is quite a daunting suggestion i think so i can imagine i can see what she's going like what her, what her predicament is i think it's just taking that step because that's like the, that's officially moving on when you've got a new boyfriend yeah i mean you know is I mean? that kind of why you've cooled things off then with lauren pope because that didn't really go very far in the end did it with me and lauren i think um you know i you know really messed lucy around and i was an absolute idiot with lucy and um i learned a lot you know, I love someone, I lost them just through being selfish and, um, you know, just being a complete idiot. So, and I messed her around. I thought with me and Lauren, I took her out um, and I love Lauren as a friend, but unfortunately it didn't feel like more than a friend. It wasn't like, you know, when you get a text from someone that you're really, really into, you buzz, you can't wait to get a text. You can't, you always hope when your phone goes off, it's them. Whereas with Lauren, I didn't have that. So I didn't yeah. want to lead run. That's why I knocked her in the head before it even started because I didn't want to hurt her. So can you see you and Lucy getting back together in the future then? Because you had all of that, like you said, a little family together and you must really miss that. Of course. I mean, me and Lucy share a lot of, obviously, bad memories together, but um, we share a hell of a lot of good memories. So, but I think it's hard, you know, a lot's happened. You know, we've got to think in the last two years of me and Lucy, the amount of stuff that we've been through is what most people go through in like a 30-year marriage. So, um, you know, never say never, but I think at the minute she's with Tom and I respect the fact that she's with Tom and I'd never get in the way of that because, you know, I went through it when I was with Lucy with Mark and I think that, um, you know, I think they should just focus on one another and just enjoy being together and he should just enjoy the fact that he's got a very beautiful girlfriend and make the most of it like I should have. Yeah, I mean, and and a lot of people would say that they would like to see you and Lucy back together. So, yeah. But then half the audience as well is thinking, well, you cheated on her that many times. She'd be a mug to go back. I think, you know, every guy, not being horrible, most guys do cheat. And I think that, you know, whether it be when they're young, I think, or whether it be when they're married with kids, a lot of guys seem to seem to do it. And, I, you know, I don't regret anything that I've done just because it's made me who I am now. It's made me grow up. And I think sometimes you need that in life. I mean, if my next girlfriend, whether it be, whether it be Lucy or whether it be someone completely different, um, you know, I'd never make the same mistakes again because you let a lot of people down. And I think, you know, all my tweets from most of this series have been about getting back with Lucy. Um, obviously, people only see a certain part of our lives on camera. And obviously, in the media also, they only see certain bits. So it's, there's a lot more to it. And so are you still in contact with each other then? Um, we're not. No, we were before Vegas. But unfortunately, um, obviously, with her hooking up with Tom... Uh, that's all put me on the back burner. So, um, yeah, we're in the same room now. We don't really talk, which is a bit... It's a shame, really, because we were in a good place when I come out of Big Brother because I think she could see that I'd changed and I'd gone back to the marriage that she um, initially knew. Um, but, you know, these things happen, you know, trials and tribulations. And, you know, like I said, she's with Tom now, so I respect that. So what can we expect to see, then, from Mario's love life this series? I don't know, really. Um... I've learned so much and being in Big Brother made me grow up so much and, you know, you have so much time there to think and, you know, really, really go into things and I think, I don't know, I don't want to rush into something with someone just for the sake of it, you know, I'm not the sort of person that will do something for a storyline because um, I just think, you know, it's reality TV, you just got to go with what you're actually doing in your life. Um, so I don't actually know, um, to be honest. I do want a girlfriend, I'm ready to settle down, I've had all my fun uh, in the last eight months, it's been... 
eventful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are you promising not to cheat again then? Are we getting you to swear again. that you're not going to do that again? I will never. I will say on the radio now, I will never cheat again. And I think this whole um, the saying of once a cheat, always a cheat is complete and utter rubbish, to be honest with you. I think you need to go through stuff. I mean, we're, I'm young. I was, I was 20, 23, 24 when I was with Lucy. I'm, you know, I'm 25 now and you need to go through these things to really learn and appreciate and the next girlfriend I have I will treat very well and I will appreciate her very well. Well let's talk about your friendships on the show then. So what's happened to little Chris? Because you seem to be best buds with Charlie now. Well obviously with me and little Chris um, you know I, I knew the boy for 15 years um, he was like a little brother to me I used to always look out for him and um, yeah I did I did love him uh, very much but obviously he went against me when he knew the truth about something but he stayed with his brother um, and stayed quiet so, but I'm friends with him now. You know, we still talk. And um, we're not as close as we were, but you know, I get along well with Charlie. I think me and Charlie have the same interests. We are starting to apparently morph into one another. Um, <laughs> apparently, he can be wearing those round glasses as well. God no, he does it because he thinks he looks like Johnny Depp. <laughs> Such a douchebag. He actually is. Um, but <laughs> I tell him that every day as well. <laughs> but no, I just get along really well with him. I think. You know, we just yeah, we're just very similar, and yeah, obviously he's going through the same um, stuff that obviously I went through um, not so long ago. So I can sort of help him through it. And yeah, advise. You know, I think everyone sort of just want to scrutinise me about for giving firm advice and stuff. But I think once you've actually been there and done everything and made all the mistakes, and you're in the, you're in the situation to give advice as opposed to someone who hasn't. Now. As you know, this interview is for the Nixie in the Morning Breakfast Show on Wire FM. Now, Nixie can't be here today, so um, he asked me to ask you a couple of questions, though, okay. on his behalf. Now, I watch the show every week um, and have and always have done and really enjoy it. It's good fun. Now, Nixie's a little bit more cynical than me, and he seems to think it's all scripted. It's not just partially scripted. Is that right? Right. All I'm going to say is... We are from Essex. If there was a script, do you really think my good friend Joey Essex would remember lines? <laughs> I'm going to throw that at you. I'm going to throw that right at you. And I tell, think that is the perfect me, response to Nixie. Remember, this is Nixie's me, question, not see, mine. Yeah, can you see Joey Essex <laughs> sitting there at 11 o'clock at night rehearsing lines and remembering the next day? <laughs> that is a very good point. I'm going to put that to him. <laughs> and he also said that he believes that you're a tailor, so he wants to know what suits are in fashion this winter. Um, you can always you can always say for classic. Always go classic. That's um, what you can do. Nice cut, always wasted. Um, yeah, so that's the way a suit fits, really. It's not about the patterns and the cut and all that sort of stuff. It's more than how a suit fits. And what do you think about Dermot O'Leary suits? Are they just too tight? Um, I thought that was a bodysuit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, right, it was okay. very close, wasn't it? It was very close. <laughs> Didn't leave much to the imagination, did it? <laughs> no. And uh, finally, right, he has asked me to ask you this question, and I, I don't know why, but he said, what do you make of the Assad regime in Syria? Oh, he's one of them guys, is he? Try and catch me out because I'm on Tawi. <laughs> this is not my question. This is Nixie's question, I promise you. Tell him Okay. That I'm here to talk about ZZs. Not about politics and all that sort of stuff. If he wants to do that, here's my number, 078. I'm joking. <laughs> and we'll talk. No, keep going, keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine, I'll pass that on to him. <laughs> yeah, we'll have that debate another day. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, I think that's all of my questions.